Well, the global outcry against systemic racism and police brutality was up for discussion in the European Parliament today. MEPs have been debating the bloc's response to protests that have swept across the continent in the wake of George Floyd's death. Well, the Parliament held a minute of silence to honour Floyd and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen asked members to help address racism across the bloc. Laura Ruiz-Trios reports. Racism and discrimination have no place in Europe, according to Ursula von der Leyen. She was speaking at the European Parliament during a debate on racism, prompted by the Black Lives Matter protests following the killing of George Floyd. I do not know what it is to be black or a member of any minority, be it ethnic, religious or sexual, in the places I've lived. Let me be very clear. In our union, there is no place for racism or any kind of discrimination. This is for sure. Some MEPs want to go further. One French politician has proposed EU guidelines on police practices to stop racial discrimination. Even though it's not an EU competency, the EU should push in that direction because it's a matter of democracy. If a part of the population, in France there's a third of the population who, who is just like, um, who is afraid by the police, just because they see them on the other side of the corner. Others, like this Hungarian rightist MEP, criticize attacks on historical status as an attempt to rewrite history. This is frightening in the present, too, when people are confronted with such aggressive, self-serving aspirations for rewriting history. To destroy the Churchill statue in the name of fighting racism is an exaggeration, even in an extremely left-wing and utterly liberal approach. MEPs are to vote Friday on a resolution condemning police brutality. And the EU